dear students in this class we will discuss the difference between equilibrium and disequilibrium fritz maclap fritz maclap define equilibrium as a constellation of selected interrelated variables so adjusted to one another that no inherent tendency to change prevails in the model which they constitute so it is a state of balance between opposing forces equilibrium is a state of balance between opposing forces naturally disequilibrium is the absence of state of balance a state in which opposing forces produce imbalance opposing forces produce imbalance in economics we deal with the variables whose values change over time the values of the variables will not remain constant it will go on changing over time so the state of balance that define equilibrium may perhaps be expressed better as a state of no change over time or equilibrium is a method of analysis it is a defined as a state of no change over time when we say that equilibrium is a state of no change over time it does not mean that economic equilibrium is a monotonic state in which no action is taking place what is meant by equilibrium is it is a state in which action is repetitive in nature action is taking place but it is repetitive in nature action of the same magnitude repetitive in nature that is state of equilibrium is maintained even though the forces in the system are in a state of continuous change so that the net effect of the forces will not affect what is known as the position of equilibrium that is the magnitude of the effect will remain will remain same consider this graph we have a demand curve a supply curve equilibrium quantity and price equilibrium price and quantity if uh, the price is above or below equilibrium forces in the economy automatically restore equilibrium so if there is any disequilibrium in the economy forces in the economy restore equilibrium automatically especially in a competitive economy and if you define supply and demand per time period as per month per year etc then there will be equilibrium in each period but remember this if a price is 10 quantity is 100 when we say that equilibrium is maintained it is simply means that the sellers and buyers sellers are coming every day with the 100 buyers are purchasing the 100 with the, the price equal to 10 so economic forces of the same same state of a repetitive nature 
is taking place so that price and quantity is not affected is not affected and over time if either supply or demand changes then equilibrium quantity and price will change from q to q dash p to p dash changes will happen and uh, it will take uh, some time for the economy to reach uh, from one equilibrium to another equilibrium and uh, during this time period the economy will be or the market will be in a state of disequilibrium because changes are not uh, instantaneous changes and adjustments to new equilibrium will take uh, time because of various rigidities disequilibria etc existing in the economy so this is the difference between equilibrium and disequilibrium and in the context of equilibrium and disequilibrium we make a distinction between flow and stock equilibrium flow and stock equilibrium suppose that into a reservoir there is an inflow of 1 lakh gallons of water per day outflow is 90000 gallons inflow is 1 lakh gallons outflow is 90000 gallons every day so there is flow equilibrium but the stock increases by 10000 so there is stock disequilibrium on the other hand if a flow is 1 lakh if a inflow is 1 lakh outflow is also 1 lakh there is both a stock equilibrium and also flow equilibrium so stock equilibrium may be inconsistent with the flow equilibrium or flow equilibrium need not imply stock equilibrium or you consider the flow of investments that is the flow of capital goods into the economy suppose that gross investments every year is equal to 95 billion dollars capital consumption is 55 billion dollars so capital stock increases by 40 billion dollars or we will say that there is flow equilibrium 95 inflow 55 is depreciation but the stock of capital goods increases year after year so there is stock disequilibrium as the stock of capital increases on the other hand if flow is 95 depreciation is also 95 there is both a flow equilibrium and also stock equilibrium both will take place continuously so the point is equilibrium is a state of balance disequilibrium is a state of imbalance and we talk about both the flow equilibrium and also stock equilibrium sometimes there will be both stock and flow equilibrium sometimes there will be flow equilibrium but no stock equilibrium such possibilities are there